was a little surprised. Thought Anchor was gonna come with a new prime battery bank. Instead, we got this. And Anchor's replacement for the prime battery bank still does not beat the prime battery bank. And when it comes to battery banks, I buy a ton of them, then I bully them by draining them at every speed imaginable, and then I recharge them like a maniac and hope that nothing burns up in the process. This was one of my topics from last year, and it's still very relevant in 2025. Let's talk about it. Battery bank has a capacity of uh, 20,000 milliamp hours or 72 watt hours. It has two USB-C ports, one USB-A port. Both these ports output 100 watts. Individually, you don't get 200 if you uh, plug two things into it together. The display on this product is top notch. The thing for me with this display is that it's bright and it's really easy to read. In terms of charge rates, supports the following charging protocols, but only has a PPS protocol at three amps. That's a small shortcoming with this product. I feel like it should have had a PPS uh, protocol at five amps for larger devices. When it comes to voltage accuracy and stability, this thing was pretty average for PDO rates and above average for PPS rates. In my discharge testing, I pulled 45 watt hours out of the possible 90. So the efficiency isn't really anything to write home about, but this next feature is why this product is so good. When it comes to recharging, this thing is an absolute beast. It has a maximum input of 100 watts, which means this whole bank can charge in 70 minutes. The next closest is 85 watts. Most of them are at 65. So being able to charge at 100 watts is huge. Huge! Now despite being a 100 watt input beast, there were no issues with the thermals. That's kind of crazy to me. In terms of size and weight, this thing doesn't actually look that big, but it does weigh 530 grams. And because of all that extra weight, this thing's not that energy dense. But does that really matter since this thing charges to full in 70 minutes. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the hit in terms of the weight. Now the biggest downside about this product is actually the price. This thing is really expensive. And the biggest selling feature is just how fast it charges. So would you be willing to pay twice as much for this battery pack compared to something like this? So would I get it if I wasn't a reviewer? That's a good question. I'm really on the fence uh, with this product because it's so expensive, but it charges so fast. And so you always have power on the go. Even if you kind of forget to charge it every once in a while, like you just, toss it in for half an hour, you'll get a decent charge out of it because it charges so quickly. Um, but because I own it already, I have been using it quite a bit. So take that for what it's worth. I'm on a mission to figure out what the best uh, battery packs are in 2025. If you are planning on getting this product because you feel st so strongly about it, use my links. I'm a reviewer, not an influencer. Do not care what product you get. All I care is that you get the best accessories for your tech. Thanks for watching.